They was interviewing Kirk Franklin one day, and they asked him, what do you think the problem with churches today? And he said, the problem with church today is too many rules. I believe that when it comes to faith, that we, we let religiosity lead the narrative of people's relationship with God. Mm -hmm. You know, whether it's like, you know, makeup, or, you know, or how you dress or what you say, or you can't do this, you can't do that. Like, we led with the narrative of what you can't do. The whole book itself That's right. is a rule book a rule. of do's and don'ts. That's right. Mm. There was interviewing Kirk Franklin one day, and they asked him, what do you think the problem with churches today? And he said, the problem with church today is too many rules. My Lord, my Lord. In church. My Lord. He said, it shouldn't be all these rules. Just let the people worship God. Worship is centered around rules Ooh. laid by God how he want to be worshipped. I believe that when it comes to faith, that we, we let religiosity lead the narrative of people's relationship with God. Meaning that, 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 that we set principles that were more cultural than they were bibliocentric. Mm -hmm. You know, whether it's like, you know, makeup, or, you know, or how you dress or what you say, or you can't do this, you can't do that. Like we led with the narrative of what you can't do. The whole book itself That's right. is a rule book, a rule book of do's and don'ts. That's right. Well, that's a horrible way to start a conversation. Right. That's a horrible way to build a, a relationship is that if I meet you, the first thing I do is I give you a list of what you can't do. A church with no rules is not a church. That's right. Listen, Proverbs chapter four, even the verse four. street got rules. Oh, yes. If you ever was in a gang, every gang got rules. Yeah. A club got rules. You don't believe me? Once that bouncer get a hold of you, you broke somebody's rule. Even a prostitute got rules. Pay first. <laughs> Pay first. What are you talking? That's right. But, 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 but if I give you a list of your freedoms and everything that is, is, is written on the, uh, with written with love ink mm -hmm. then we have a better opportunity to, to kind of get a great start mm -hmm. but what we did is that we passed on to the next generation a list of what they can't do right. this is wrong this is wrong and that's, a, and that's a hell of a way to start a relationship and so that is a great mistake they don't mind the street having rules but this has crept in churches oh, yes. where members and even preachers and so-called christians are saying we should wish up god with no rules. You ain't even that devil got rules. That's right. Let us walk by the same rule. Do you hear the Bible? In the book of Philippians chapter 3 and verse 16. Hear me, world, hear this. Nevertheless, where to we have Nevertheless, already attained. Nevertheless, where unto we have already attained. Let us walk. Let us walk. By the same rule. And do what? Let us mind the same thing. Gino Jennings responded powerfully to Kirk Franklin's controversial comments about the church in a fiery sermon. Jennings emphasized the importance of biblical rules, comparing them to societal laws that maintain order and discipline. He argued that Franklin's remark undermined the church's role in guiding believers' spirituality and morally. Watch as Jennings defends the sanctity of scripture and explain why rules are essential for the righteous life. It's worth nothing that Pastor Gino Jennings has been known for his strong opinions and passionate preaching. He leads the first church of our Lord Jesus Christ, which has garnered attention for its strict adherence to certain rules and practices. If you're interested, you can watch some of the videos where Pastor Gino Jennings addresses the issues with Cork Franklin. Franklin has collaborated with secular artists, including Kanye West and Chance the Rapper. Some conservative Christians criticized him for working with artists whose music doesn't align with the traditional gospel themes. In 2019, a leaked audio recording captured Franklin using strong language during an argument with his son. The incident raised questions about his behavior and how Christians should handle anger and conflict. As mentioned earlier, Franklin's recent remark about the church and its role stirred debate. 
Foster Gino Channing responded strongly to Franklin's comment, emphasizing biblical rules and discipline. Remember that controversies can be complex and opinion vary. Franklin remains a respected figure in the gospel music industry despite these incidents. The gospel community has responded to Kirk Franklin's controversies in various ways. Opinions are divided. Some praised Franklin's effort to bridge gaps between gospel and secular music, while others criticized him for compromising gospel values. Responses went from disappointment to understanding. Some argued forgiveness, recognizing that everyone faces challenges, while others emphasized the importance of modeling Christ-like behavior. Supporters defend Franklin's right to express his views, while significance of the church rules and biblical principles. Overall, the gospel community remained diverse in its perspective, reflecting the complexities of these issues. Ladies and gentlemen, if you are new to this channel, please subscribe our channel and we will give you more information in upcoming videos. Thank you for watching. Thank you so much. God bless you.